On behalf of First UU Houston and its UU The Vote team, we are delighted to bring you this brief overview of the 2024 Texas general election, including details about what to expect when you go vote and tips to make it easy to participate. UU The Vote organizing efforts are focused on building a truly inclusive democracy, a beloved community that is always widening love's circle. We thank all of our community partners who make this information possible, especially the Harris County Elections Office. They are an incredibly hardworking team of public servants. Another excellent community resource is Houston Public Media, who published a how-to guide on October the 9th. The link highlighted will take you to their excellent summary. First, the general and special election is the democratic process we use to elect representatives to fill special offices. From the president to Congress, the judges of state and local courts, the Texas state legislature, and even your local constable. There are also what are called special elections on the ballot. One of these is for residents of U.S. Congressional District 18, formerly held by the Honorable Sheila Jackson Lee. Those elections appear on the ballot twice, once to fill her current term and one to elect a representative for the new term beginning in January 2025. You vote only in the election races that correspond to your address or the address listed on your voter registration. Sample ballots for your address are available at harrisvotes.com. Simply enter your name and address and a ballot of your races can be downloaded in advance. You may also take paper copies with you to, to the voting location. Because of its size, Harris County qualifies for countywide voting, which means you can vote at any polling location. Harris County uses Verity Duo voting machines. They enable countywide voting. The link at the bottom will show you a video of how to use it. The important thing to remember is that you can vote anywhere and the voting machines will provide the ballot specific to your registered address. The 2024 ballot is long, up to 70 races. Because Texas does not allow straight ticket voting, you will need to cast a vote in each race. If you vote in each race, expect the process to take about 10 minutes. You're not required to vote in every race, but you will need to press a button to move the ballot forward. Instructions will appear on the voting machine screen. So what's on the ballot? Certainly the presidential election gets lots of attention, but other races include a Texas senator and your representative in Congress, along with statewide elections for the Railroad Commission, judges for the Texas Supreme Court and Court of Appeals, the State Board of Education, and representatives for the Texas Legislature. Your ballot will show who is running to represent you, their party affiliation, applicable to your voting district. Through our partnership with Texas Impact, we have access to the nonpartisan organization Ballot Ready that provides helpful information about the candidates, including who has endorsed them, their education, and statements they have made about key issues. Use the QR code or the link shown to get to the Ballot Ready website. Ballot Ready provides this information across the country, so even if you do not live in Harris County, feel free to use the link. Also on the ballot, what are called down ballot races, are a number of Harris County and local area races and issues. These down ballot topics are important and in fact our daily lives here in Houston. Again, these will appear on your ballot if you reside in the area affected by the vote. Other local issues are the tax rate for Harris County Flood Control District and Houston Independent School District Schoolhouse Bonds up for approval by the voters. Harris County does all it can to make voting as easy and accessible as possible. Early voting starts Monday, October 21st and runs through November 1st. Note that there are some extended hours during the second week of early voting, Monday through Thursday. And remember, as long as you are in line to vote by the posted closing time, you will be allowed to vote. 
To make sure every eligible person has a way to vote, Harris County also allows voting by mail. The guidelines of who is eligible to vote by mail are shown. However, you must apply to vote by mail by October 25th by mailing an application to the elections office. If you have any questions about how to vote by mail, we encourage you to call the elections office or use the link provided for detailed instructions. Harris County also has mail-in ballot tracking so you can be assured your vote counts. We urge you to bookmark harrisvotes.com website. It's a great resource with lots of helpful information. And now a few tips to help make voting easy. Find your nearest vote center in advance. They are listed under vote centers from the harrisvotes.com homepage. Print and research the ballot ahead of time and bring the required ID. Here are a few examples and rules for the preferred ID, such as driver's license, passport, or citizenship certificates. If you do not have one of these IDs, check the harrisvotes.com forward slash voter ID page for other documents you may bring which will allow you to vote. Finally, Harris County wants to ensure every eligible person can find a way to vote. Vote centers are set up to accommodate the mobility challenge for voters with disabilities. There are assistive devices for the visually impaired, curbside voting, and priority voting for disabled voters. Be courteous to those who may arrive at the same time as you who need extra assistance. They will be moved to the front of the line. If you have any questions, simply ask a poll worker. They are trained to assist every voter. First Year U Houston is delighted to be a part of the election process, which is so capably administered by the Harris County Clerk's Elections Office. We believe in democracy and widening love circle. Come meet us in person or learn more about who Unitarian Universalists are at firstuu.org. Don't forget to vote.